Thanks, President. I think it's not a coincidence that three of the four speakers are from Ireland because we have a huge problem in Ireland in terms of mental health, but we're not the only ones. Mental health in Europe is taking a nosedive and our chronically underfunded and overworked healthcare professionals can't cope. The pandemic and its aftermath have exacerbated clear deficits in our care system, leaving thousands of vulnerable people without the support they need. But really, is it any wonder that Europeans face record levels of stress as more and more people struggle to feed their families, heat their homes, pay is dwindling, prices are soaring, and it's ordinary people who get caught in the crossfire. 37% of workers under 30 are on temporary contracts. Most young Europeans live paycheck to paycheck without ever having the prospect of a decent roof over their heads. We're witnessing fa failing safety nets, exploitative business practices, money-driven politics and severe inequality. Neoliberal capitalism has done untold damage to the well-being and mental health of Europeans. It breeds disempowerment, isolation and uncertainty. We can't to talk about mental health without talking about the conditions that trigger it. <laughs>